I am Molik and welcome back to my Another Assassin of Xamarin. Today I'm going to teach you how to create custom layout in Xamarin. Here I have already developed my code and as I always do, I posted this code on GitHub and here is the URL of GitHub. And I mentioned this URL in video description. First, I'll show you a simple example uh, of vertical stake. Let's Start your code, right click, add new class, custom layout. All layouts are derived from layout class and layout class is responsible for adding and removing child from layout when you are override the layout child math uh, derive uh, sorry when you are to derive your custom layout class with layout class you must override the layout children method and layout children method is responsible for positioning children on screen Let's set the position of children for each work child in this dot children if child dot is visible false then do nothing. Let's set x position of child double x child is equal to x double y child is equal to y and let's get the size what child size is equal to Child dot get size request pass width when you are creating your when you are creating your custom layout you cannot predict the size of child the get size request is return the size of child and here is child uh, size is not more than the width of layout less double child width is equal to child size start request start width and let's set height Now let's set the child x position and the width based on the horizontal options. Switch child dot horizontal options dot alignment do nothing for the start and let's set the x position for the center the x child is equal to width minus child width divided by 2 and let's set the end position x child is equal to Words minus child words and for the field the child words is equal to words now let's set the y position y position is equal to the 
child height and here is child height and let's bound our child into layout so, layout child into bound region set the ch child and the new rectangle pass the x child position y child and the size of child child width child height layout child bound into region method set the position of child on screen Now we gonna override and the method is one side request. Override on size request. On size request method is required to make sure our layout. To on size request method is required to make sure our layout uh, is size correctly inside of the layout. Uh, let's uh, find the total width and height. Double total width for in our case total width is equal to the width constraint and total height. We set here zero and let's count the total height. Over layout for each one item uh, child is equal to new this dot children and if child is visible false. And do nothing. Else calculates height. Total height is equal to first get the child height or child size. Child size is equal to child dot get size request. Width and height double dot positive infinity and child dot child size dot request dot height. Let's return new size request equal to pass new size total width and total height. Now that is done. Huh. Let's create new page, add new item, layout, example page, add sparse name space. to layouts total demo and just add layout layout dot custom layout and pass here box view back 
background color is red green blue yellow and green now let's set the horizontal options uh, here is horizontal options uh, is start let's set to which constraint Its request is equal to 150 pixel and let's set for all center and and let's run program Uh, oh sorry I forgot to change my page and here I'm going to set the layout example page and let's run again and here you can see it's working fine and let's change height uh, with uh, it's working fine um, let's add the space between element custom layout and add new custom bindable property spacing corner class is custom layout and the default size is 5.0 and the property change on space on space change Here we gonna tell the layout uh, to reset. Here we gonna tell the layout to reset our layout uh, child position when the uh, space bear of child ele between element is changed. Let to bindable as custom layout and here is the invalidate layout this method will call layout to rearrange all layout when the uh, space between element is changed uh, let's set the space here we can say child height plus spacing and uh, Let's see here to spacing and that's done. Let's run again. Uh, you can see the space between element and our code is working fine. Here I have already developed another layout is a wrap layout and as I develop a base class for my wrap layout and here you can see I overwrite the method is on size request to calculate the size of layout and here is the layout child layout children method to place children on screen and you can see 
uh, as I will uh, posted this code on GitHub, you will find this code uh, on GitHub. Let's change the page, go main page, and let's run. You can see the wrap layout and it's working fine. Right, you can see. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.